This is a short overview of the CareK2 user interface. Let's go ahead and open up our file. Once per Blender session, when you open the Blend file, it will ask you to allow execution of the script portion of CareK2. CareK2 is a blend of content and add-on, all encompassed within one Blend file. Click Allow Execution in order to see the CareK2 panel. The default layout for CareK2 is much like Blender's own shading layout, except I've exchanged the file browser and the image viewer for the asset browser and the UV editor. The asset browser lives in the top left of the screen. This is where you'll find all the content for KRK2. If you don't see the categories listed here, you need to make sure that the category text file is included in the same folder as the blend file. In the bottom left, you'll see the UV editor. This is where you can change the UVs for keycaps and see their relationship in 2D space versus 3D space. The 3D viewport lives in the top center of the view. And this is where you'll be doing most of your editing, such as setting up lights, setting up cameras, moving things around, etc. This is also where the KRK panel lives. If you don't see the KRK panel, make sure to press N. In the top right, you can see the outliner. This is a list of all the items in your scene. This is where you can turn on and off kits, turn on and off lights, floors, etc. In the bottom right, you can see the properties panel. This is where you can access scene properties such as resolution, the number of samples while you're rendering, object properties, and object data properties. In the next video, Let's just dive in and get started with our first kit render.